from the other shops than by you. You use the relevant shop at the side. <laughs> you have a food company. So you have to tell them, go to Chiki Pizza Place. Because if there's no Chiki Pizza anymore, your company is collapsed. Be careful. I like the advert. <laughs> All, I'm going to eat it. Chiki Pizza is so
these things must be relevant to you. Your posture, your eye contact, your body movement, your content in the communication. So people are abusing you when you think you are submitting. There are some orders that when they give you, you don't ask an explanation. Rosie, that attitude must change from you today. You see, they raise you in a country where you have to have explanation for everything. You don't need explanation for everything. Right. Some things you have to obey. Because if everything, you see, you can't surprise your wife anymore. She's standing and you go and hold the face. You know, in the old days, you're so ready to say, guess who is there? Hey, lift my eyes. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm coming there. You smell my makeup. You smell my makeup. Yes, because before you finish, your name is Greece. Why do you come to my house? Because it's part of surprise. Thank you. Because your eyelash will move. Why should you not show any answer? I am not your mother. I am not your Ah, uh, big German. Even when you it close your eyes, it goes to surprise. Right now we are sitting. If the camera gets close, you says you close your eyes. Who knows whether you close your eyes or not? So as you are sitting right now, your eyes move close. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know why she didn't tell. So we can't be surprised. Don't don't surprise you. Don't surprise me. Thank you. Yeah, those will be. Obi Flo said you are coming in. They want to communicate to you domestically. You are no kasa enisu enisu kasa enisu kasa. Rose, me want to ask you. So me no kasa. I look from your forehead. Then I walk down to your tire level. Immediately I walk down there, I am communicating to you. So that you know that there's something wrong. If you are smart and well cultured and well trained, you look at yourself and sit well. But what comes into your mind? Abuse. Oh, shall I say? Hey! 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 Close your eyes! No, I'm telling you something. Or the people that don't want you money. So we didn't have domestic setting. We should learn to know the things that we can use to differentiate between submission and abuse. How do we communicate to each other in the play? Your mother calls you. There's a way you respond. Look, let me tell every mother watching. If you have a house self, you have a nanny, you have anybody supporting you, learn from me today. The way you talk to your nanny is the way your children will talk for the rest of their life. If you abuse your nanny or you abuse your house self, your children will learn abuse from you. So, okay. so I want you to give your number to people so that they call you to ask how to be your number. Yeah, so you see, as for the number, if you don't have it by now, among all human beings, you are a good disgrace. But you are forgiven because it's a mobile money number. That is why I continue mentioning it. Not because you don't have it. So that when you send money, you know it's cake. 0377. 609. 644. Stop rushing. The way you talk to your husband is why he's beating you. I am not endorsing the beating. But when you will send bomb, it's in your boy as well. Jai! Kasadin Yan 0277. Just now, who really Janoka? 609. Assembly of this hour, over for a now. 644. Only this hour, over for a woman. Oh, send me chibu. 0277. 609. 601. So, what's this? Some questions you don't submit, you answer. And your answer alone in your submission leads you. It's not Photoshop. So learn to talk well right. so that you reduce the ability to abuse. You are so abusing much. the president. Thank you so much. We like that. Well, yeah. uh, uh, don't forget to go to Cheese with Jesus Cake. You know what? Today they have a special of the jollof and uh, chicken with fried rice as well. So just go to any of your branch shop. Contact them on 026 Just say 4133397. like that. And they will deliver to you. Today is a special jollof or fried rice with chicken. So it's not just a pizza, but you have all of that right at every cheese with cheese and rice. Just contact them. Simple like that. Thank you so much for watching the show today. We know you have enjoyed it. Uh, when you go out there, you definitely practice the good things about here. To all our Muslims, brothers and sisters out there, we wish you nothing but the best of luck in these last days to complete your Ramadan. Make sure that you increase what you're supposed to do and we'll find favor. So, uh, like I said earlier, we just want to wrap up today very, very fast because uh, my co-presenter uh, is not feeling 
Mega. He's a gun. By 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 virtue, no, by virtue of coming to stay here. What are you doing? It's too high. Set Tony to go. What is that? What is that? Ah, to make up. What is that? Oh no. Have you seen it? Ah, but have you seen it? She's downstairs. You're not carrying now, but I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, we are just doing production for. Next set. Let me hear fire. Okay, I think you have a clean one. Sir, Moody, see, I or And I think that. Uh, so, our topic is very simple. And it's, it's about this abuse thing we have discussed. And most of us, we have fought this abuse thing for some time now. And it is not working for us. Not because the witches in our family have decided to kill us in marriages, like some pastors will tell you. It doesn't mean that there are no witches in your family that will want to kill you. Because a man's enemy is back from their own family. And we understand that one. And I'm not, I'm not against that one too. But there are times that your attitude demands you to be abused. This is not to say that we are justifying abuse. Let's learn how to talk to each other. Let's learn how to address each other. Choose your words very well. So how do I submit? Because there's some submission that goes with. When you're submitting you yourself, you feel sad. And you, you submit to the stand that you make yourself feel like my jimmy jimmy. But in the domestic setting, submission and respect is the cardinal or the most the cardinal principal word. That keeps relationship going on. Right. And when I'm talking about marriage, marriage is between a husband and a wife. But I'm talking about marriage and relationship. And the relationship bit is where you, the way you relate with your house self, right. your gardener, mm -hmm. your driver, mm -hmm. your nanny, yes, your in-laws, is where I am discussing. Most of us, we think that the only person that deserves the respect and submission in our home is our husband. So when that is hope, we respect. When that is out, we abuse. Yes, yes. And some of us, too, when we are even submitting to the authority which is the husband over us, mm -hmm. we submit disrespectfully. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you understand. Oh, when I say, Obi, what yet? A clamor who brass yet. Look, the first medium of showing signs of disrespect, mm -hmm. most of the time, is your response to questions asked to you. Okay. So, ah, somebody have interrupted my meeting. Have you put up my internet or something? Is it gone? It is back. This was just, yes, sorry, it was interrupted. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. The phone here is full and you're strong. So, what I'm trying to bring to your notice is that there is a way we submit that becomes insult. I, I, I tell wives, Rosalie, are you aware that it's one of the forms of abuse to sleep before your husband comes home? It's abuse. I'm out. Before I get back from you, I'll see. Hey. Where's the A? I should stay at home. But, but how do you sleep without your home? Hey. Am I home? Maybe it's not a dream. Ah, but you are, yes, you're waiting for me. That's not abuse. It's submission. Maybe I'm not abusing No, what? I'm abusing you for what? You're not abusing me by keeping her away safely. No, what do you call abusing that act? By checking up. What are you staying for? Wow. What a wow. Today I'm not I'm not hyper because I already told you I'm not here. No, we know you're hungry. We'll finish with food. I'm not hungry. You're going to buy food at uh, I'm not hungry. But I'm what's wrong hungry. with you? You are sick. Yes. I'm not okay. Hungry. Rosalie thinking she's sick. We'll make her sick and we'll fix her. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> 
So, Rosely, it's very important that we learn that in a domestic setting, there are things we do that tend to abuse the other person. And because most people are not matured enough so that they can have the clearance of managing their thoughts, their feelings, and their actions, they begin to abuse each other. Abuse is not right. But let's also learn to live a life where we will not give people the right to abuse us. In the domestic setting especially. So the way you relate to your husband is as if to say that apart from my husband in this house, anybody else is a trash. It's a form of abuse. Yes, you have to submit. But you are submitting to only one person in the house. In your house, as a wife, the only person that you are supposed to submit to is your husband. So, Rosalie, when I marry you, you don't submit to my mother. You don't submit to my sibling. You don't submit to my father. So, if you are living around and my father comes around, he is not your senior husband. So, you don't submit to my father. You respect my father. No wife is supposed to respect the husband. Keep it clear. Your duty as a wife is not to respect your husband, but to submit. But you are supposed to respect all auxiliary human beings around your husband, including your house, including your driver, including your suite, whoever is helping you in the domestic setting. You respect them. But you submit to only your husband. You don't submit to your pastor. So you should learn the difference between trying to distinguish between being submissive and abusive. So how do I use my submission to abuse my spouse? When you begin to submit to your husband's father, submit to your pastor, submit to your boss, submit to an older person within the confined and the domestic setting of your home, you are abusing your husband. What he deserves cannot be shared with other people. Immediately you share what he deserves with other people, you are abusing him. Okay. Respect is what a wife earns from the husband. Okay. And the level of respect your husband gives you is the respect that is seen in his action, support, security, and placement of your well-being. So the respect a man shows, which is demanded in a domestic setting, is when I'm taking care of your welfare. So I respect you, not the type of respect that you call, I kneel down for you, I come and bow down for you to put your legs on me. No, it is the respect that I have your need at heart. So immediately I take your need out of rent, and I see the need of my mother, the need of my father, the need of my in-laws, the need of my siblings. Higher than yours, it becomes a form of abuse right. as a result of me not emitting the respect that I'm supposed to give to you. So you see the two different things here. Huh? When we are abusing each other, we don't know. How do I wake up in the morning and greet you, my wife? Hi, honey. Good morning, how are you? Then you ask, I don't actually ask. Then you only mean I let die. You see that answer? That answer is a cheeky answer. Mm. That answer, baby, or anything called a towel. That answer is a cheeky way of communicating. And it is no submission. I have shown you respect by greeting you in the morning as my wife. Why do you come out to ask me why did I greet you? You are abusing me. So the submission we are asking for is unquestionable regimental order. The domestic setting is traveled from our house to public. Rosalie, you are in TV Africa. Yeah. And the biggest authority over you could be your CEO, your program director, whoever is ahead of you will be your boss in that place. Now, if your husband walks into this environment, you are supposed to submit to your husband. Don't tell me where you fear. The domestic environment can be carried out there because I am part of your domestic family. Okay. So you don't disrespect me. You don't live a life when we go out there that you think I am meant to And in my territory, you should learn.
learn how to pray to me so that I will learn how to pray to you. No. Know where the submission is. Immediately we carry our domestic matters out of our home. We are still in the domestic setting. Because I am a domestic partner. So when I go out to my house, the way she looks is very important to the family. It is also part of the part of abuse that we are talking about. Because most of us, we don't think. The idea is your house self. Yes, let the dressing of your house self be known to everybody. But the way she smells, the way she looks, yeah. the way she talks, depicts the type of family she comes from. So in our abuse in the domestic setting, most of us have lost it. And our losing it, it will be a few. But let me tell you, it's because our attitude in approaching each other in our gestures, our content of talk, our way of thinking, our way of seeing, the way you go and fight a certain lady on behalf of your husband, tell us that you don't respect your husband. It's not protection. Rosalie, in the domestic setting, we are not supposed to, to, to protect ourselves. We are supposed to be protected. So as you are sitting down, your husband must protect you. You don't protect your husband. It's not my right. It's not my you enjoy the protection of your husband and by enjoying the protection of your husband you dwell within the secret place of the most high who is your husband let's learn the way we talk don't give your husband submission to your husband it's abuse don't give your husband submission to your boss it's abuse but rather let everybody see that you're submitting to your husband and don't mis misuse abuse with submission there are many times that rose the place your husband is talking to you, it doesn't really show nice things. I mean, you are on set. Now we come free or continue. Now I can't say, hello. Now some of you say more set. Who's a why am I? Some of you say more set. Why am I? The best thing is not to pick the call. Don't pick the call. But can you pick and say I'm on set? No, that's an insult. Don't pick. You are on set. If you can pick my call on set and tell me I'm on set, why can't you pick and talk to me? Okay. I, I get where I'm coming from. One picky cry and talk. So let's learn very well that our way of abusing people will do because I don't know they don't fight at any better. Now I could talk. Now she said they talk on our and I'll find out and say, Oh, for one minute, I can't say, I'm not going to say, make up one car. Say, bear way. No, don't do it. Nobody is too important than anybody, even including your husband. And your husband, too, who knows that at this time you're on set. That will call you on also a show level of disrespect to you. Right. Read your two messages and let me read the sense for you. Mm, baby, I'm not okay, sir. The message is for up, so that's all I can have like Ah, sir. Okay. Hey, you want to move? I do I don't I don't to I don't I not I I you <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the secrets to life is for you to know that 
If you learn to live within your life, nobody can abuse you in any way. Amen. I am pleased to announce to you that life is left. Everybody needs a man. One of the biggest burdens on earth is a man. One of the biggest blessings on earth is a man. But learn how to live with a man so that they don't become a burden to you, but become a blessing to you. Check your speech. Check your language. Don't abuse anybody. Don't beat your house up in front of your children. Otherwise, when you leave them, they will beat your children and in the replacement. Don't insult your house self. Verbal abuse. We are young. Full of Toby. Number B. Jibo. Hey, me, you, ye. Um, I mean, it's so much not to them. I will pra. Me, I mean, you will feel my note here condition. Who should TV or any so? And you know, crown outcome. But the environment is abusing your domestic environment. 0277 609 624. Madame Massa Moshe, the Bia Godu Media, the new Boa Fobia, young Juan Aka, now the young Boa Fodia Bepon. As I did it, you are sad, will be a Suma Maya, you will be a and will be a good and you will be a say, she bow when you are good. Who will need you of you? Who is that? So, Rosalie, thank you very much. Do you have church service tomorrow? We do have church service. Okay, the women's no, conference is going on. The Shabbat is going on. Yeah. I have a friend to be there. Yeah. Yesterday, I was, I was there last night. No, I'm not I saw, speaking. I saw. I'm not speaking. I, I'm no, it's the eyes. The eyelash is what's making her look sleepy, but they're unfortunately. Uh, uh, I saw your dance too. You and Percy's dance. <laughs> last Sunday. Uh, it was, it was, it was a great dance. Sunday. I was, I was out of time. I bless God uh, for the life of Prophet Emmanuel again. Yes. And, uh, I always thank God for his life and always pray that God will keep the business to him. Thank you. And for those of you who are home as well, we urge you to join. Uh, come and be under the covering of a man of God, a genuine man of God at heart. I'm not just anybody, but a genuine man of God who God is using to help some of us. So please be a part of it and let God use you to help you as well. He's ever willing to help everybody out there. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to read it though. Oh Lord, I bless you. No, I'm not. Says she's pregnant. So, so, so yeah. So I. A boy, I urge, I bet I urge all of you to be a part of pregnancy. Prayer is palace. A baby. A Let's do this together as a family. Very, very important. I'll, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you all uh, tomorrow evening. The Miss Shabbat tomorrow. So we have two guests that be. We have Jayana coming through, and we have a Kessie Brimbor coming through. So all the fans of Akessi Brimbo are seeing you guys tomorrow. I know that it's going to be amazing. All the fans of Jayana are seeing you guys tomorrow. It's going to be amazing at Prayer Palace. If you guys just have ever like, or just behind the UBA, you're coming from Accra. It's behind the UBA band, so right behind the UBA band. And even next door at the UBA band, that is Prayer Palace International. The man himself is Prophet Emmanuel J. God is using this man to bless our lives. And don't miss out. If you see me, Prospering is because God has used this man to help us. Everybody needs a man of God to help them to achieve their goal, whether you like it or not. You do need it. You might say, Oh, I'm not a Christian today. Why? Maybe your parents or your mother just said some prayers for you. That's why you are where you are today. And if you're unfortunate and you don't have that, all I'll say to you is that prayers are not possible because somebody like that needs to help you to be able to get to where it is you want to get to. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in church. and um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fireworks. And as Prophet J was saying, heaven will kick in. So see you tomorrow, guys. Well, thank you very much. As heaven is kissing the earth, join us and let's celebrate together um, this uh, Friday and then our Sunday morning service and the powerful service as well. And our Sunday evening command your week is there. So church service is in full gear and let's meet to do it. And remember that as we walk through the surface of the earth, there are forces that we wrestle with. And then it says, we wrestle not with uh, 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 think unseen forces, but unseen forces. And there are powers in dark places. And you are in the other four. Prayer palace. Now about from the two and three. 0277 609 644. Bra, near soon. Many more Let's learn to live a life without abuse. And our lives will not be the same again. Amen. We'll be able to be able to do more.
Makawa. Yeah. So uh, we consider it Edo Special. Yes, it's Mario. Uh, we hope that we'll be getting your salaka. Send the salaka to Sovereign Mario J. Ah, okay. Oh, on, on Kansa Lito. Thank you very much. I'm not well. For the redirection. The number is 077 What's the number? 77 609 609 So thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am today in my nice black and KT tie to alert His Excellency the President that there's nothing to be fixed at the moment as we're speaking. He has fixed everything. It's left with us to enjoy what he has fixed with us here. And so if I'm dressed like this, I'm dressed to remind you, sir. I'm going to show you the name of the president. 0277. I'm going to show you the name of the president. 609644. I'm going to show you the name of the president. 0277. 609644. Let me say a big thank you to Bodyline Clothing for my outfit. And say a big thank you to Mr. Young for my shoes. And remember, as I walk through the surface of the earth, if you have a shoes on your feet, don't forget, it's Mr. Young. On the rice building, uh, uh, the circle, just at the center of the rice building. Walk in there and make yourself feel good. The same way, if you see that I don't come here naked and I'm well dressed, don't forget, it's a simple principle. I buy all my things, all the things I wear are always from one place, body line clothing across Central in the Despite building. Ladies and gentlemen, this Mother's Day, there is a huge percentage giving going on there. And if you want to be part of it, it is a beautiful beneath. We have huge percentages on panties, on brazier, on hip pads, on uh, nipple covers, anything you want to use on your body for your mother. Just walk to beautiful beneath and we'll celebrate it together with you. Happy Mother's Day in advance to all mothers. Uh, all mothers, you know what it means. If you don't have a child, you are not a mother. So it's not to all women. This is not women's celebration. It's Mother's Day. Good night. Bye-bye.